Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archer. It's our choice. Got a good group going. Yeah. Welcome to the choice. This week, we are having an Outfitters Appreciation Show. We're going to show wait, you, you wait, know, wait, without wait. all the. When you guys, I went in the editing room. Yeah. You, Freddie, Joey, all you guys were looking at stuff on my first yeah, muzzle loader kill. How come you don't show that? With our, yeah, come on. That was fun. I took my first whitetail. It was a doe, a great doe. And I, I took it was her. snowing. Yes. Oh, we forgot that. I guess we should play it. Well, heck yeah, it was fun. Okay. You know, once again, it just shows that y you got to try it all. We're trying it. And it's a blast. Okay, well then. I like I this because we'll I can let... barely hear you. It's fun. It's... I guess we'll go ahead and roll your doe footage. Roll that wonderful doe. Doe footage. Why'd you push so hard? <laughs> Second season here in Illinois. Last night it started to snow. Late last night. And we got about, we got a good dusting on the ground. It's 28 degrees. Hardly any. We got her. She jumped over here. Put that remote down. The choice will be right back. Welcome back to the choice. Now let's go and recover that doe that you shot that you were so upset that we didn't air. Well, come on, it's fun. Okay, okay. And it was at home. Mm -hmm. Everything about it was just great. Okay. A nice doe.
Well, we're here in Illinois, and our goal was to get some does down during the second shotgun season. We're using our Traditions muzzle loader, and Vic, we did it. Good job. Oh man. It's a little different than shooting with a gun or with a bow, huh? It's a uh, wow. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I was. You didn't know if you hit it. No, I was. I was so excited though. I think I I fogged up the scope. You know, I mean, I mean, just everything about it. And I mean, what a beautiful doe. What a beautiful doe to take. Nice shooting. Hey. And it's snowing out. It's snowing? We shot a deer on our property? And we got shot it with a muzzle loader? I mean, this is awesome. You know, as every parent knows, Really, every outdoorsman, anyone that spends any time in the outdoors, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Whether it's hunting, fishing, camping, outdoor, hiking, whatever it may be. And you know what? Proof's in the pudding when you're doing it in the snow. Okay, it's Sunday afternoon, second shotgun season. I still got my muzzle loader tags to fill. Didn't go out yesterday, today we're going out, and I have a new hunt. I went Christmas shopping yesterday, but I have a new hunting companion that's gonna come sit up in my big Ameristep blind you, stand. What are you doing tonight? In this tree stand. In a Ameristep? Yes! Can you, can you say Ameristep? Ameristep! Okay. <laughs> Let's get going, okay? <laughs> it's not easy walking, is it? No, okay, come on, follow me. <laughs> no, I can't carry you. Come on, I'll make good tracks that you can walk on my tracks, okay? Okay, come on. Look, the tree's right there. We're almost there. See it? I'm gonna sit down here. The deer are gonna come from over there. Or the deer are gonna come from behind us and come out this way. Remember the tracks we saw down below our stand when we came in? They were deer tracks and they came out of the woods behind us. Uncle Shawnee shot one here last night, and he said they came out of that finger, came right at him. Okay. So that's what we're gonna hope for, okay? And then maybe I can get a big old doe, okay? Okay. Okay. Mommy. Yeah. Or maybe they can go there or there. Yeah, they could. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> well, no, they're not gonna come from the top of the tree. Okay. Are you gonna be warm enough? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any more to go? Or is it too cold out? Okay. Are you done? Just, there you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. We're peeing out of our trees. Do you feel better? Okay. Hey, check out my boy. He's gonna spell his name in the snow. Okay, are you finally happy, Ralph? We got done showing all the footage you want. Can we please start showing our outfitters some appreciation? Let's get with it. Let's show Uncle Hoppy some appreciation for his turkeys.
Oh! Oh! Look at those spurs, baby! His neck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stand up tall. <laughs> As you've seen, we were in a bad thunderstorm. We, there's nothing we could really do. The truck is a long ways from here. We didn't even know it was gonna come a storm. No, we could that, hear it, one we, in the we background. We could hear it, but it was way over way there. Way over here, and the next thing we know, this thing is it on top of us. Shot. I mean, I guess, this this thing is calling. I don't think he went 12 yards. He came out. Came out. Wow, that's higher. Welcome back to the choice. Now, let's head up to the Yukon with <coughs> McMillan River Adventures once again. Moose and stone sheep. Moose hunting. and stone sheep. Rod takes his first stone sheep ever. With the traditions. With the traditions. We just ended up spending almost the whole month of almost August down month. in Texas with the Trophy Hunters Extravaganza, huh? Yeah, we met a lot of great people down in Texas. And speaking of Texas, let's, let's go, go down hunting. the Covenant Ranch in South Texas and show a little bit. Do some Texas-style hunting. I need, I need to, like, cowboy hat and boots. Boots would make you taller. We're back here down in the Covenant, <laughs> hunting out of the macho blinds, and what can you tell? I mean, another magnificent South Texas deer. Where's your hunt? Oh, wow. Whew. 
Wow. Isn't it cool to still be able to hunt? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm so proud of you. Did you like that? Come on, now look at mommy. This is what it's all about. With Hunter Dan, huh? Welcome back to The Choice. Now? Now, we're gonna go to Nebraska. Movie Handlers. Movie Handlers, where Jake Beam, posse member Jake Beam, took that awesome mule deer. Yeah, and Careful Travis. And they had a good hunt there. They did. Well, here he is. I mean, if we handlers got the mule deer. Spotting and stalking black bear up here at Bat Nooney Lake. Guides and outfitters. Thank you, Alfie. You bet, buddy. My first alligator, 10 point. Everything was perfect. <laughs> We're up here in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba with Prairie Wings Outfitters. We have our owners, Dave Malco and Craig Walker. I mean, we got, we got green heads that we shot this morning, just some great green heads. We got some blues and some awesome snows and Canadians as well. Oh, oh he's just... Oh my... Buddy, right on. give me some of that. Right He's just a stud. Hunt up here in Victoria Island, Cambridge Bay. Woo! We sure hope you enjoyed this week and the season of The Choice. Yeah, we really enjoyed putting the show together. It was different than just our normal bow hunting. And you know, as you know, Archer's Choice hasn't changed at all. But the reason we have produced The Choice was that we have to unite. We have to bring everybody together. We need to stop this division amongst ourselves because if we don't, I mean, RJ, Gates, your children, their children won't, won't, won't have the hunting lifestyle to live. And that, that's critical. It is critical. And we want to thank all the outfitters for all the wonderful times that we've had with them. And we really appreciate them because if it wasn't for our outfitters, we wouldn't have a show to put on for you guys. And we our want, sponsors, too. We need to thank our sponsors. Cause otherwise sponsors, we wouldn't most have... of all, but really, you, the viewers. Yes. Because without now... you watching... Yeah, uh-oh. We wouldn't have the ratings. So we do have one more little, Ralph has a little piece, a little word there that he wants to say at the end here, but do you want to shoot this one more time? Absolutely. Okay, so don't go anywhere. You guys see Ralph when he talks. I like this. Fire in the hole. You know, we talk about so many things as far as, you know, the choice 
And the choice is real simple. We don't care, and none of us should really care with what you hunt. Just get out there and hunt. That's what this is all about. The only way to grow this sport is that we participate in it. Whether it's rifle, shotgun, muzzle loader, whether it's a bow, a compound recurve, whether it's a crossbow, whatever it is, if it's legal in your state, province, or country, shut up and let's go hunting.